What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I've got a story time for y'all that I think you're going to enjoy about a crackhead that was screaming in a fast food place about how video games summon Satan. Y'all tend to enjoy the videos where people hate video games so as soon as I saw this I knew it was right up your alley but before we get into it be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam whatsoever you are going to get your video games banned by a very angry man in a fast food restaurant and you don't want that to happen and you can avoid it by pressing the like button and without further ado let's get into it nice rack in her ass brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million swear i'm a little all right so as i said this was a subscriber story that was sent in to me by somebody and uh you know they were out with their friends late one night doing some stupid activities it's not too important to the story and i'm not gonna go too into it but basically they were out smashing mailboxes i guess that's what people do in some places and honestly, I feel like that's kind of rude, all right? What if that guy had a letter from the IRS in there and now he's gonna get, you know, a tax lien placed on his house? My goodness. But regardless, anyways, after getting tired of destroying mailboxes, I guess they decided that they were hungry. It was late at night, so like the options to eat aren't exactly endless. You know, the later it gets, the less options you have and there's only two things open. And one of them happens to be a fast food restaurant that's a little further into town. They had been a little bit more out in the country and they decide that they're gonna go there. And they had three cars, so, you know, 12, 15 kids, I don't know the exact number, and the person who sent this in doesn't either, and they all decide to go to this fast food restaurant. So, they pull in and get out in the parking lot, and, uh, you know, the subscriber kind of realizes that it's not exactly in the best part of town, and there's not anything wrong with that, there's not anything against it, it's just when it's 2 in the morning and you're getting food you might be a little bit more aware of the part of town you're in. So whatever, he gets a little bit nervous, but they end up going inside and ordering. And the workers look annoyed mainly because, you know, they don't really want to be dealing with this huge group of loud kids this early in the morning. You know, they're not exactly being super quiet. But whatever, they did sit down and they start eating, and obviously they start talking. It's not like they're just going to sit there in silence. And all the guys that had been out smashing these mailboxes start talking about video games. And I guess at the time, for whatever reason, this particular school was going through like a Doom phase, right? And for those of you that don't know what Doom is, it's this video game that basically is about like a portal from hell opening up on the moon or Mars, one of those two. And you have to like take weapons and fight off literal demons. It's just that's what the game is about. And so whatever, they're sitting there talking about it. And behind them where they were all sitting was a guy that, you know, was looking a little bit rough, looking a little bit crazy. They had seen him talking to himself as soon as they walked in. He uh, was talking to himself and then taking turns talking to this newspaper he had in front of him. But when I say he's talking to the newspaper, you know, like he's talking to the newspaper and giving it time to respond and then responding to something that the newspaper said, like it's that type of vibe. And obviously, you know, probably not much he can do about that, but when this guy starts overhearing their conversation about doom and demons and portals and blah 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 and which weapons they use to fight demons, he turns and just starts staring at them and listening. And the subscriber instantly gets like a sh chill down his spine because when he's staring at them, it's like he's staring at them in, you know, a very... I don't know how to describe this, like, like, just, like, dead in the eyes way. Like, he's looking through them, almost. Almost as, like, he can't believe what he's listening to, he can't believe what they're talking about, and he's just kind of, like, angry. It's not like he's staring at them, trying to just overhear their conversation, because he finds it interesting and doesn't know what's going on. And as he continues to, like, listen longer, his face gets angrier and angrier, and pretty soon it's contorted into this, like, snarl. And he stands up and he walks over to him and, you know, he gets really close and there's like three tables. Like I said, there's a pretty large group of kids. And, you know, when he gets close, they smell him before they hear him. And he starts talking about, what are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? And he's yelling. Keep in mind, it's like 2, 3 in the morning in the middle of this fast food restaurant. They're basically the only people in there. So they all turn and look at him. All the workers turn and look at him. And he's like, do you have any idea what it's actually like to fight demons? Do you know what I mean? Do you have any idea what that's like? And obviously all the kids are, you know, saying no. And he's like, I actually fought demons. I used to play Doom thinking it was all fun and games. You know, I thought it was just some harmless video game like you guys did. And then one day, me and my friends were hanging out and we did this thing. And then we played Doom and the demons started actually coming out of the computer. 
and you know they started attacking me and ever since then I've had to roam the streets fighting off these demons that have invaded earth because of doom so if you guys are playing doom then you're making my job harder because you're summoning demons that I have to fight every single night like that's what I do every night is I walk around fighting demons from doom and obviously everybody is kind of starting to get a little nervous because this guy is getting really really angry about this like it's not like he's explaining this and smiling like he's trolling you know he's getting mad and you really don't know what to say in this situation when someone is screaming at you saying that one time they were hanging out with their friends and did something and then played doom and demons started coming out of the screen first of all that like brushing over what you and your friends did before you started playing doom is important I feel like that that was more what kind of messed up here not exactly the video game but beyond that, like, you're just talking about a video game with your friends, next thing you know, some crazy dude just starts screaming at you that you're bringing demons into this world and it's your fault that his job is so hard because he has to fight off the demons every night. What do you say to that? Like, do you thank him? You know, do you buy him food from the fast food place you're at? Like, what do you do? And as I said, the entire time he's screaming at you, he's getting angrier and angrier. And it gets to the point at the end when he's explaining that, like, it's their fault that he has to fight all these demons where spit is flying out of his mouth. Like, you know, when someone just gets so mad that the waterworks open up, you're in the splash zone at SeaWorld, everything's just... <laughs> Donald Duck got the super soaker on deck. It's just his mouth, you know, that kind of starts to happening. And so the kids are wiping their face to get the spit off of them. And when they wipe their face, he goes, that's what you do. You're summoning demons. You're summoning demons. And this guy reaches down and grabs one of the guys who had, like, wiped his face off on the shoulders. And obviously, at that point, everybody gets up and they kind of push this guy away who is saying that video games summon demons, you know. And he's, he's starting to, like, attack them because he thinks they're summoning demons right now because they're wiping spit off their face. And listen, obviously, dude is just not in the best state of mind, but, like, what did you expect them to do when spit started hitting them in the face? You know, like, I don't think that's necessarily summoning demons. If you spit on someone's face, they're probably gonna wipe it off. No one wants to just sit there and let that cook into their skin. I'm just saying, if some dude started screaming at me in a fast food restaurant, I don't care what he's saying. I don't exactly want his spit on me. It's just something that I'm, uh, personally not down for. Getting spit on is just already one of just the grossest things, bro. I don't know what it is about that that just particularly bugs me, but that that would, uh, yeah. Anyways, they push him off and he starts screaming that he's going to get revenge on them because they've been summoning demons and he's going to go get his friends. And so he leaves and they see him kind of run across the street down this alleyway. And at that point, the subscriber is like, all right, let's go. You know, we've had our fun, we're not in the greatest part of town, we just got screamed at by a crackhead, he just tried to attack one of us, he said he's going to go get his friends and come back, let's not be here when he comes back. Probably the best move that you could have possibly picked in that scenario, but everyone else is like, nah, he's gone now, he's not gonna come back, he's not gonna come back, whatever, just calm down, just calm down. And the subscriber is like, you know, I don't necessarily feel like this is a good idea, so I'm gonna go sit in my car. Whenever y'all are ready, just come out and hop in, but like, I'm not staying in the restaurant. And so the subscriber goes outside, he walks over to his car, and he gets in the driver's seat, and he doesn't turn the car on or anything, he's just kind of sitting there, and he's watching into the restaurant. And as he's watching, he sees the dude come back out of the alleyway, but this time he has two other dudes with him and they all start walking across the street, right? And so he looks and he sees that, and so he starts honking the horn in the parking lot trying to signal everybody. But they look out and they think that he's just messing with them, right? They're like, oh, whatever, he's honking the horn trying to scare us. So they start like flipping him off, you know, trying to mess with them, and he starts pointing. And finally, one of them looks, and they see that he's coming back with two other people, and they have something in their hands. They can't really make out what it is, but as they get closer, one of them has a brick, one of them has, like, a piece of wood, and then the guy that was originally there is just still screaming something about how, you know, Doom summons demons and all the demons and blah 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 blah, just still going off about who knows what. And at that point, I think everybody inside the restaurant realizes that, yeah, leaving is probably the best idea in this scenario. The whole sticking around and finishing your cheeseburger is probably not worth it. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look on your screen now, you'll see a PlayStation gift card. For those of you that don't know, I give one of these away in every video I post. As a way to say thank you to y'all for subscribing and turning on those notifications. So if you haven't already, you should. And other than that, if you could take a second to press the like button if you're enjoying the story so far, I'd really appreciate it. Helps the video do better, and on that note, I'll shut up. Thanks.
So everybody just starts scrambling out of this fast food restaurant, but obviously fast food restaurant entrances aren't like notorious for being able to let 15 people out at one time. They're not really notorious for anything other than high cholesterol and diabetes. So, you know, they start trying to get out, they kind of get stuck, and when they see that they're trying to leave, the guys that are coming across the street start to speed up. And naturally, finally, like the traffic jam in the door it clears up, and all these kids are running to their car, and they're jumping in. People are jumping into cars, jumping into this, jumping into that. And at that point, the subscriber has their car running. And so when all the people that he's responsible for get into his car, he backs out and peels out immediately. And he gets down the road and out before they get across the street into the parking lot. And they just start driving home. He's like, I'm not turning around until we're out of this town. I'm not turning around until we're out of here. I'm just getting out of here. So he's driving on the gas baby driver style. You know, maybe not as good as baby driver, but he's doing his damn best to get as far away from that parking lot as humanly possible. And when he looks in his rearview mirror, he sees another car pull out. And as the third car pulls out and starts to come, he sees like a bunch of stuff go up into the air and like they slam on the brakes, but then keep going. And so, you know, they realize that something happened and they're driving and they're driving. And finally, you know, it looks like they're all following him because nobody knows where to go. So he gets back to, like, the town they're from, and they start just kind of weaving through roads, and they end up at this park. And they pull into the parking lot at the park, and they all get out. And obviously, they're all crapping themselves because they're like, what is going on? Why did that guy think that we have something to do with, like, demons coming out of the floor and ruining his night every night? Like, obviously, us playing Doom has nothing to do with whatever this guy's hallucinating and seeing. But as the third car pulls in and they get out, they're like freaking out. They're dead. They're dead. They're like, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. And they start asking what happened. And this guy, it wasn't his car that they were driving. He had borrowed his mom's car for the night. And so she had to drive it to work the next morning. And they go around the back of the car and the back window, like the back windshield, I think that's what you can call it if I'm wrong, whatever, is smashed. It's out and sitting there like in that spot where, you know, there's it's behind the back seat. But like where the window is, is a brick. I guess the guy that had had the brick had thrown it at them as they were driving away trying to escape, you know, as one good last, this'll teach you to play Doom and open demon portals and whatnot. And obviously, when a brick hits a window and somebody's throwing it from a high height, it doesn't exactly bode well for the glass. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a weak little man. So everybody's kind of like, what? Oh my god, they threw a brick at you. What's going on? Like, oh, dude, how are you going to tell your mom? Everybody else starts freaking out. And that's when somebody's like, what even was that? All right, they hadn't really processed how bizarre the entire information was yet. Like, they had just been sitting there, eating some fast food, talking about a video game. Suddenly, this dude said that, like, if they play that video game, they're letting demons out into the world, and every night, him and his friends have to go hunt the demons that they let out. So, like, if they're playing Doom, then technically it's on them that the demons are escaping. And they just are kind of like, yeah, I have no clue what that dude was on about. Obviously, he's pretty out there. And, uh, you know, what I really just have to wonder is how he got his friends involved. Because, listen, man, I've got an uncle that, you know, he's pretty out there. He's a little bit nuts. He says stuff that doesn't make sense sometimes. And I've never been like, yeah, oh, those people over there are saying that, you know, the government's not made of lizard people. Let's go throw bricks at their car. But this dude really was like, uh, if they're playing Doom, it's letting demons out into the real world. Went into a different alleyway and came back with two other people that were like, yeah, let's break their cars because they, they've they been playing Doom. What's insane, though, is like even after this happened, obviously the kid whose window got smashed got in crazy amounts of trouble because they weren't necessarily even supposed to be there in the first place. Like the car wasn't supposed to be that far away from where they were supposed to be. But even then, even after all of that, what's wild is, like, it actually did kind of kill Doom for them. They were all playing a bunch, you know, going for different, like, speed runs, all that stuff. But after that incident, all of them just decided that they really didn't want to play it anymore, because every time they would, it would just make them think of that. And up until that point, you know, life hadn't necessarily been crazy for these dudes. It's like the closest they've ever got to an insane situation is having to evacuate a fast food restaurant as fast as humanly possible while people are throwing bricks at you. So, uh, what I am saying is if you have a video game you hate, apparently the way to get people playing it is just being crazy. Real note, though, I would not recommend doing this ever. Just throwing bricks at people is a horrible idea. Just, just don't do it. But, uh, you know, on that note, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. And, of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. It really does help a lot. Other than that, though, if you like the intro song, you can find a link to it in the description along with a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast. You could go ahead and give it a listen.
Or if you want to help me out and get yourself some G Fuel, the best energy drink for gamers by gamers, you can do that by using code SCRUBBY at checkout. Gives you a discount, helps me out. Everyone's a winner. And last but certainly not least, as y'all know, it's October, and October's coming to an end, so now's your chance to get the Halloween merch. It's on your screen now. It's absolutely stunning, and you can get that too from the top link in the description. But, uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that'll do it. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do. Make sure they're hot, and hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm out. Peace.